Hey guys, how you guys doing? I hope you guys are good. I am good. It's a Sunday. It's God's day. And God is good all the time. And all the time God is good. And therefore, I am good. If God is good, then I am good because I am made in His image. So therefore, I am good. Um, so I'd like to greet all of you in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Um, for those of you that don't know me, my name is Horsi. And yeah, today I'm going to be bringing you guys today's lesson. And also, I know that it's been it's been a while since I I, I, I had a lesson. But um, the important thing is, we're here now. So yeah, so um, before we get into today, let me actually just tell you guys what today's lesson is about. So today's lesson is about taming the tongue and also the power of the tongue. So pretty much we're just talking about our tongues, like the, the power that our tongues have and the power that our tongues hold. So, um, but before we get into all of that, all of that, um, I would really like to say happy, happy, happy birthday to those of you that were celebrating their birthdays over the past week till today. I'd like to say happy birthday to you and I hope that you had an amazing week. I hope that you had an amazing day. I hope that you had fun. I hope that you laughed a lot. I just hope that you enjoyed your day regardless of all these bad things that is just happening around us you know load shedding there's looting covid yeah but also i hope that you guys are sanitizing and you guys are social distancing because that is very important for us to curb the spread of covid19 so yeah i hope that you guys are doing all of that but most importantly most importantly back to the important part here i hope that you guys really enjoyed your day and i pray that god continues to bless you guys and to keep you for many more years to come and i pray that you keep shining like the star that you are because you are a star and stars need to shine okay so i hope that you are shining so keep shining and stay shining but yeah back to today's lesson so like i said earlier today's lesson is about um the power of the tongue taming the tongue but um unfortunately i'm not going to be like giving majority of the lesson i've actually just borrowed a video from very very good people that are going to be explaining what taming the tongue means so pretty much um the video is about um the book of james chapter three so i would like you guys when you guys have time you know just go over it just go and read um what james chapter three is saying maybe borrow your mom's bible or your brother or your sister's bible or just your own bible if you have one just take that and just go through james chapter three you will really see what the video was trying to explain but yeah without any further delay let's check it out God created each of us for specific reasons, but one of the most important ones is to tell others about Jesus Christ and how to receive salvation through belief in Him. The Apostle James warned that we shouldn't be eager to be teachers of God's Word because we will be held to a higher standard. We all fail in many areas, especially with our words, but it is possible to learn to control our words so that they reflect our beliefs and God's mission for our lives. As an example, James tells us that horses don't start out their lives as gentle, trained animals. They are wild creatures with huge, powerful bodies. But with some training and something as small as a bit and bridle in their mouths, we can control the direction in which these massive animals go. By controlling our words, we can control the power and direction of our lives as well. James continues describing how sailing ships are amazing. They can cross huge bodies of water and carry enormous loads of supplies. Though these vessels are driven by fierce winds, they can be directed by a tiny rudder steered by a single person at the helm. We can accomplish great things and persevere in stormy times if we can control the words we speak. 
The tongue we use to speak is small, but in many ways, it is the most dangerous part of our bodies. James tells us that just as a tiny spark can set a whole forest on fire, a single evil word the tongue spits out can start a destructive fire that can do unimaginable damage. However, just as our words can corrupt our lives and stir up all kinds of evil, they can also do incredible good. Next, James has us consider animals. From reptiles to birds, creatures of the sea to beasts of the jungle, humans have tamed and trained every kind of animal on Earth. The only thing humans have been unable to tame are their own tongues to keep them from speaking evil. It has deadly potential to spew out poison-filled words, wounding all who hear them. Consider this. On Sunday, we go to church where we use our tongues to speak and sing praises to God, and then a few hours later, we speak words that curse another person who was made in God's image. One minute, our tongues are doing what they were created to, and the next, they are acting out of evil. This should never be. Good and evil cannot come from the same place. Can an apple tree bear oranges, or a saltwater pond produce fresh water? No. So a Christian should not use evil words. Our words should honor God and reflect a godly life. The Bible tells us that Jesus was the Word of God who became flesh. Jesus is our example to follow, and our lives should speak and live out the good words of God. Hope you guys enjoyed that video um i enjoyed watching the video i learned like a lot because yeah there were some things i didn't even know i i i didn't even know that horses were once wild animals and we had to tame them like i didn't know i didn't know but yeah so pretty much we're talking about taming the tongue so taming just means like watching being more mindful of what you say and also watching what you say um just being more careful with the things that you say. So pretty much what God wants for us is to not to use our powerful tongues for evil, you know, like saying things like, oh, I wish you could just die, you know, things like that. That is very bad. We shouldn't say things like that because the tongue is very powerful and the devil is always listening. Like he's always waiting for us to say these things so that he can actually gain power to do them. So we need to really watch what we say. Rather use your tongue for positive things like Jesus loves you or God loves you, you know, or just look at yourself in the mirror and be like, oh, I am beautiful or I am handsome, you know, just use your tongue for good things. Use your tongue to uplift others. Use your tongue to say thank you. That's very important. Use your tongue to be grateful every day. Use your tongue to say something good. Be grateful. Be like, thank you, God, for today's food that is you using your tongue for good do not use it for bad to be wishing bad on other people you don't want to be doing that because that's really not what god wants for us god wants us to wish good on people god wants us to say good things and also not just to other people but to ourselves as well it is very important that we say good things to ourselves because the tongue is very powerful you know, you cannot be saying things like, oh, I'm ugly or I'm just going to fail. You know, you shouldn't say things like that. You should say positive things. You should say really good things about yourself and you will see things will change. Things will change. But yeah, um, that's pretty much what taming the tongue means and just watching what you say. Um, I just really wanted to explain a bit of what they were saying so you should always like keep yourself in check okay before you say things rather rather keep quiet and think about it first before you say it you know it is very important to sometimes think about something before you say it and also just try 
to act out of compassion, never act out of anger because that's when the tongue is the most powerful when you're angry and then you just want to say all these evil and horrible things to that person. But I'm, I'm here to tell you now that just don't try and calm down before you say anything that you don't want to say like, I hate you or, you know, just don't use your tongue for, for evil or bad. It is really powerful. So watch what you say to people. Watch what you say to your friends. Watch what you say to yourself as well. That is very important. But yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Um, I did too and I really, really hope to be doing lessons with you in the future but yeah i hope you guys enjoy the rest of your sunday and uh, thank you for watching wait 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 before you leave i'm sorry one last thing um so this is actually me issuing a challenge to you guys um from me to you i challenge you guys to use your your tongue the power of your tongue for good um so the challenge pretty much is say say something um good every day so like you can compliment someone tell them hey um i like the way that hat like looks on you it looks really good on you i like it or say things like god loves you um oh this is a very important one use your tongue for things like gratitude to me personally um i like being grateful so use the power of your tongue to be grateful you know thank god for the little things that because sometimes god really blesses us and we don't see these little things like the food that you just had this morning someone else didn't have breakfast so i encourage you guys that you guys just start using the power of your tongue for good because i promise you that is what god wants for us he doesn't want us to say all these bad evil things he wants us to use the power of our tongues for good so i challenge you guys to say good things every day every day for the rest of your life just practice saying good things with your tongue i promise you it will change things but yeah till we meet again i hope that you guys have an amazing time i hope that you guys enjoy your week i know it's back to school it's gonna be a bit tough but hang in there remember to pray every day and read your bible God will just take care of everything else, okay? But yeah, till we meet again, I hope you guys keep well and keep safe. Remember to sanitize and to social distance. But yeah, that is goodbye from me. Bye!